seat belts. So this is the old seat belt system, um, retractor, uh, uh, the webbing, and uh, um, uh, this is the buckle arrangement and uh, with this little magnetic, uh, this little magnet here that helps latch onto that. But basically this is a very simple buckle. Um, and then the webbing goes down to uh, uh, what I call the outboard lap uh, position that's bolted into the uh, into the floor. Uh, this is bolted into the top of the parcel shelf at the top of the waterfall. And then this is on the, the buckle side. This is uh, uh, attached to the center tunnel. And so that's the old system. Uh, that's factory fitted, I believe. Um, clearly at 50 years old, it wants to be replaced um, from a mechanical perspective, not just from a cosmetic perspective. So uh, fortunately, you can get modern day aftermarket uh, units. And this is the kit that, uh, um, that uh, I ordered and uh, obviously I've received. And the retractor is here. Um, this is a spool out retractor. So uh, for comfort and for ease of fitting the seat belt, uh, you can get a lot of payout, but um, and you can pull on that just like in a modern day car, and um, uh, this should work very effectively. And then, but this system has a, a D loop here, which means the bolting arrangement in the car is slightly different. As a result, this is the buckle. It's a uh, a latch buckle. Uh, <clears throat> you press the red to actually release the buckle. This is a a uh, a more direct uh, uh, engagement as a result. Uh, it's a positive engagement inside that tongue. This is a solid steel cable, and this is connected down to the floor uh, in the center tunnel. Um, and then uh, your outboard lap arrangement has a similar mechanism, a, a similar uh, uh, mechanism for connecting to the floor. So uh, in this case, um, we use a an additional bracket to connect it into the floor. So that's the old system that's got the bracket uh, attached to the webbing. Uh, this is a universal seatbelt system. So it has a flat plate into the webbing and then an additional bracket. Uh, relatively straightforward to fit into the car. Um, and I'll show you the uh, fitment on the uh, on the passenger side that I've already completed. All right, belt installation on the passenger side. Um, on the original Jag system, uh, there is this reinforcement bracket, um, and there are two holes um, to, uh, to locate that. And um, I'm making use of that bracket, and uh, you can actually just, uh, just see it there. All right, that's the bracket that I'm talking about. Um, this is the D loop. So this used to be the retractor bolt, it's now the D loop bolt, and that's just a plastic cover to go over it. This is the retractor unit, and the bolt is actually underneath here in a cover. We can just lift that, and uh, you should be able to see that bolt there. And then for the floor, um, there is this uh, bracket arrangement. This bolts straight into the floor, and um, then uh, the outboard lap belt segment of the system bolts into that angle. Uh, this is the uh, <clears throat> uh, inboard lap belt buckle arrangement. So this is connected to the center tunnel. That's a hard fixing. And uh, obviously you just put the, the buckle into the buckle tongue into the actual buckle itself. So this just uh, disconnects. Right, so quite a nice little system. Um, this allows for payout, uh, but also uh, brings the belt back into the, the system. We'll see how that works out. Um, not cre not really an ideal situation for that D loop, but that's the only way I can make use of uh, 
uh, this installation. Uh, clearly everything looks nice and tidy, very pleasing. And I'm going to install the, uh, the driver's side now. Alright, both systems are in. Everything's looking very tidy. So, very pleased with that. Um, all of that has actually uh, has worked out. So, we'll see how we get on with the seat fitment and if there's any tweaking in bracket locations and uh, uh, buckle stalk locations, etc. So at this particular point, um, I'm uh, pretty happy with it all.